Hi everybody, welcome or welcome back to my channel, it's Evelyn. Today I'm reviewing the Sunday Morning Antioxidant Oil Serum from Verst. And it's basically this oil-based serum that I have been incorporating into my skincare routine for the past two weeks. And I just wanted to give you guys this review because it might honestly be the only oil that doesn't clog my pores, that doesn't leave me greasy, and that doesn't break me out. If you want to know more, then keep on watching. Before we jump into the video, I would just like to remind you to subscribe to my channel and hit that notification bell down below so that you can be notified every time I upload a new video. Okay, let's get right into it. Okay, so what is the Sunday Morning Antioxidant Serum? Uh, so the Sunday Morning Antioxidant Oil Serum is basically this lightweight but still hydrating um, oil-based serum that is a 50-50 oil and a 50-50 um, water-based serum, I would say. So what you need to do is like mix it up like this or shake it up. Uh, for it to mix. It retails for $19.99 on Verst's, Verst's website and you can also purchase this on Cold Beauty if you are from Europe and I will link it down below so that you can easily just click it. It's essentially this lightweight serum slash oil that you use as your either your last step in your skincare routine or just before your moisturizer and it's just uh, for skin that just lacks that little bit of hydration but uh, it's honestly targeting mostly I would say combination to oily skin people because I want to just make a disclaimer that this is not a very occlusive oil it's very lightweight as you will see in a minute when I try this uh, and you'll see on the texture that it's very very runny so for me like I like runny serums I like when it kind of goes into the skin or soaks into the skin very quickly uh, but I know that a lot of people don't like that so I'm just gonna show you really really fast i'm not gonna put it on because <laughs> last time i did it it was like running down my down my hand and uh, towards the floor so i'm not gonna do that but i'm just gonna show you really really quickly like as you can see it's super runny and yeah it contains a lot of plant-based oils it contains some glycerin it contains um, some uh, some extracts that are really really nice and uh, helps to retain moisture uh, and some really, really great antioxidants. I'm gonna get into the ingredient list in a little bit because if you watched my channel before, you know that I always want to dissect a product and really go through the ingredient list to make sure that there's nothing uh, that's, that could be potentially sensitizing or bad to your skin. I also want to just remind you that Verst is 100% vegan, 100% cruelty free, and they do have some really, really amazing options for fragrance free, fragrance free products if you have sensitive skin. So let's just get right into the claims for this product. So according to the website, the product claims to be ideal for all skin types, even oily and acne prone ones, used under, over or in place of your moisturizer for a healthy and never greasy glow. It can also be used as uh, to highlight certain areas of your face, such as your brow bone or your cheekbones. And uh, Averse also claims, I don't know if I would agree with this, but they claim that you can use this um, as a two-in-one product, so a serum and a moisturizer. And I believe that people with normal to dry skin will not agree with this because it's simply just too lightweight for that. Um, however, I can see for my skin type in the summer, I could definitely see myself using um, this as both my moisturizer and a serum. However, I'm, I'm still gonna use my moisturizer, guys, because I just really love my moisturizer. Um, but I can, I can definitely see how that could work. Now to the ingredient list. So, <laughs> so some of the first ingredients are uh, Camellia oleifera seed oil, which is an oil extracted from the seeds of Camellia oleifera. It's an oil made of uh, fatty acids, uh, it's got some plant collagen, and it's got some antioxidants. Then it's got some glycerin, which we know is a great humectant, and it's got some jojoba seed oil, which is, I think, like the fifth or sixth ingredient, which means that it must be like a higher percentage of it than the rest of the oils, which I love to see because uh, jojoba seed oil is basically an oil that is very very similar to the sebum that we produce naturally in our skin and it's got it's really high in linoleic acid percentage and for those of you who don't know this people who um, have oily skin or the reason why they, they have like excessive oil is because they lack linoleic acid in in their skin um, and by applying it to our skin, we're kind of replenishing the oil that uh, our, nat our skin is going to produce naturally. So that is really, really great for people with oily skin that this has jojoba seed oil and not like a more occlusive oil like marula oil because that, yeah, that, can, that one can clog your pores. 
Uh, then it's got some chamomile flower extract, which acts as an, uh, an antioxidant and also an emollient here, I believe. It's got some tocopherol, which is basically vitamin E, acting as, um, acting as an antioxidant. It's got some sea buckthorn extract, which contains a lot of vitamin C, B and E, and it's a natural antioxidant as well. Uh, then it's got some, like, a bunch of leaf extracts, which I think some of them could be fragrant. Just keep that in mind, but they are very low on the list, so also keep that in mind. Um, then it's got some turmeric, turmeric root extract, and turmeric is just one of those ingredients that is also really great for acne because it's got antioxidants. Uh, then it's got some arginine, which is basically an essential amino acid, a key building block of protein, just like collagen would be kind of. And that's why they put this ingredient a lot in anti-aging products. And yeah, so my experience with this product, I really, really love it. I've been using it three to four times a week for two weeks. And I've honestly just seen amazing results. I like it leaves me with this dewy feeling, uh, and this feeling of just feeling super refreshed and super hydrated and glowy without being oily. You know what I mean? Like I think people with oily skin, they understand the difference between being dewy and being oily, uh, because you don't want to feel oily. Because oily is like when your sebum is sticky and it feels like you're breaking out and and your pores just look bigger. This this one does not feel like that. Um, it's very, very lightweight. Um, some people might think it's too lightweight, but for me, honestly, I, I just love it. It's also like, I feel like it's very luxurious. Um, I use it before my moisturizer, like I said. I'm gonna show you some pictures of me uh, when I've just used it and just for you to see how glowy it makes me. It also doesn't really smell like anything, like it doesn't really have a scent. And I feel like it will, it will last me quite a while because I've used it quite religiously for two weeks and it's still like a lot of it. Um, depends obviously how much you use of it, but I believe that for $19.99, it's definitely not a lot of money. So I tried the rosehip seed oil from The Ordinary and that one broke me out and that is considered a lightweight oil, but I think it's because the oil wasn't diluted in anything. It's like a hundred percent oil, you know? Um, and if you want to watch a video where I basically bash a bunch of skincare products that were supposed to clear my skin, but that actually broke me out, I will put a link to that uh, in the card up here, in the cards up here somewhere. Um, and also I just want to mention that this oil is great if you're doing like microneedling or anything like that, because it's so, it's, it's like, um, that extra bit of like the extra boost of hydration and I've been using it a lot uh, in conjunction with my my Sunday face <laughs> Sunday my Sunday face uh, Microneedling device uh, and if you want to know more about my Sunday face because they are this newly launched brand that I really really truly support and believe in I will link a video to the full review in the cards up here as well for you to watch I'd really recommend this oil to anyone who has combination oily or acne prone skin that just wants to boost their hydration, especially during winter time and even summertime, it doesn't really matter. Um, but just have not found an oil, oil yet that works for you because I really truly do think that this could be a great alternative for you. I do plan on make, making maybe like a video of different oils that would benefit different skin types if you're interested in that. And yeah, what do you guys think of oils for the face? Do you think they are a yay or a nay? Please leave that in the comments down below because I would really like to know what other people think of oils for the face or oil-based serums. I was really, really skeptical towards this one at first, but now that I've used it, I can just see how truly, really, truly, truly nice it's been and that there is like an oil for every skin type probably. And yeah, like let me know if you have a favorite oil-based serum that uh, works for you as an oily, acne-prone person because that is my main focus on my channel. Thank you guys for watching and I shall see you in my next video. Bye guys.